For today's episode, we are gonna go on an adventure and this guy sitting right next to me is the one that's gonna decide where we're going. We're going thrifting. We're probably gonna go to a few antique stores, but I have no idea where. He gets to decide because I just got back from two weeks in Europe and he had to stay home because he was out of vacation time and take care of the cats. So today is all about whatever Jesse wants to do. Okay, but we're gonna let fate decide. No way. How do you let fate decide? You're kidding me. We're going south. <laughs> are you serious? That's an app? Babe, you are just full of surprises. I'm excited. Are you excited? We're going south. Our first stop is gonna be a Goodwill, which is exciting. And we are going to the Wilsonville Goodwill because it is just about one minute off the freeway. We were headed I-5 South. I still have no idea where we're going. You have no idea. I don't even know if he has any idea, but our first stop is gonna be this Goodwill and I usually find really good pottery here. So I'm excited. I haven't been here in a little bit. We were just talking about how hit and miss this Goodwill is. Some of the best furniture and pottery that I've ever found has been at this Goodwill, but also I walk out empty handed quite often. So we'll see, we'll see. Maybe today is our lucky day. It's kind of a newer, like up and coming area. It is. So there's not like a lot of vintage, like it's not really old. Well, yeah, there's not as many old homes. Yeah. So I think that does make a difference. Got a cart guy. Look at this. I'm so excited. <laughs> Jesse knows the drill. The first style is always this one because this is where you're most likely to find a cool figurine or a Batosi vase, which is what I'm always looking for. This cat, it comes with real cat hair already. On oh, stop it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's kind of interesting. It's like rubber. It's plastic. Oh, it's not even it's old. It's not vintage. He looks kind of sad. I don't know how I feel about that cat. Poor kitty. Jesse's on a mission looking for a $100,000 vase. Did you guys see that? Someone found a vase at Goodwill for, I think, $3.99, and it was worth $100,000. It actually sold for that much. Yep, Italian glass, very rare. I'll link the article in the description below. It's a pretty cool story. So yeah, Jesse's got a big hopes and dreams today. Here it is. <laughs> elephant Chia Pet. This is at least $50,000. Yeah, no, more. no. But that vase is pretty cool. Look at that one. It's got like a glass ring on it. It is thick glass too. Ooh, is it heavy? I mean, it's glass, so it's glass heavy. It is. Not vintage. Not vintage, and I don't think very high end, but no. it is cool if you're into glass. There's a yellow one here. Not my style. Yeah, I do. Victoria, it's $12.99 though. Kind of looks like an onion or a garlic, but in a good way. Looks like something from Whoville. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. That's one of my favorite movies. Ranch Who Stole Christmas, classic. Jesse likes this one. Margot made it in 2003. That was a maggot. <laughs> Margot, right? M-A-R-G-O-T, yeah, I think so. I would like to go to Island Bed and Breakfast. That looks colorful and amazing. Look, you've got the ocean, you've got bohemian coziness, and you have a cute little cat. I love it. I want to live there. 
You guys, I love fat corduroy. Fat corduroy is my favorite. Don't sit down, is that glass? Oh, it's tape. <laughs> It's not good enough quality, but it's only nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Is it? And does the ottoman come with it? I think so. It's a good deal, but it's it feels. Uh, you can kind of already see some of the fabric is pulling out. Yeah, but someday I want a fat corduroy couch. That was my dream, in like a navy blue. That does look pretty cozy though for ten bucks. Not bad. What is it? It's my record player. Oh, it is a record player. It says, as is, $24.99, it was $39.99. So, as is means it's broken. Probably. It's kind of cute, though. So, the little sides are speakers. I mean, what is it? Magnavox? Yep. It's cheap. It's not like... A high-end brand. Not... We're holding out for the real deal. What do you want, JBLs? I want some JBL speakers, yeah. We need a massive ladle, Jesse. The thing is like uh, 18 inches long. <laughs> no? Uh, no. <laughs> He's good. Seven dollars. Ooh, that's kind of. <laughs> Seven dollars. That's a lot for a ladle. This looks like it could be cool. I like the handles. They look very Art Deco. Seven ninety nine purple. Now, I'm loving these two canisters, the black and white canisters. I don't need any more and I know that they're new productions, but those would look really timeless and classic in a kitchen. We're walking out almost empty handed, but I am gonna get this cool vase pottery thingamajig. I just like it. Victoria did a good job. I think it might look cool with a candle in it too. $12.99, color off this week is purple, so unfortunately it's not half off, but I think it's worth it. Look at this dog right here. He's having a good day. <laughs> He's so cute. Goodwill number two. Those are the insulators. Yeah, we used to get those back in the day. They're like collectible. Sometimes they're not. It's like a. Does it depend? That one says it was made in the USA. No, I think they just go through trends. Like oh. People design them or not. They're cool, kind of sitting on like a stack of books I mean, or something. Cool, yeah, little paperweight situation. Four ninety nine. That's not bad. Well, you want to get yeah. it? Jesse's first pick of the day. No. No. <laughs> Someone else who actually likes them. We'll save it for someone else. Someone else. Not today. I think I actually got one of those not too long ago. It's old trivets. His little eyes broken. Or maybe it's just little cracks in the glass. Just yeah, that's pretty cracked. Picasso? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> that definitely know. looks like his sister's signature. I don't know what that is. There's like a copyright symbol, which makes you think it's like... Very valuable. Like it's supposed to be something. <laughs> it might be. I might be putting back a $100,000 vase? vase right now. It's possible. I'm it is like possible. Idiot. We're all going to laugh at you. It's cute with the little windmill. That would be a good gift for my mom for Christmas. It's 
$2.99. It's Hello Windmill. We're part Dutch. And she collects a lot of blue and white pottery from there. Yeah, I think I'll get that. Now that's a real Picasso. This wasn't the one you were saying it's Picasso? <laughs> yeah. Check out this travertine tile. That's kind of cool. Ooh, terrazzo. Or that's what I mean. Yeah. We love terrazzo. Both of us do. It's like a sample. Mm-hmm. A free sample for three ninety nine at Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting to see what you pick up when you go thrifting. I mean, it's old. Lee's Pottery, USA. Four ninety nine. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Maybe they're not old, babe. That one looks newer. Mm, I think Lee's Pottery is new. Oh, two ninety seven. That's old. That's old pricey. Right. Look yeah. at the tag. You can just tell. I mean, it's post UPC invention. <laughs> If you had a Taylor Swift lover themed room, these would be so perfect. These 1980s lamps, they're very cotton candy, baby blue and pink skies, very lover. It's missing a little dot. This could be replaced in a new Thing put here. I like that it stands by itself. It's not just a wall mounted clock. Probably cost about $15 to get new things for it in a new pack. And it's only $9.99, so that'd be about $25 invested into it. But I think it's only worth about maybe $50. I think I'm gonna pass. Well, we pretty much struck out at the last two Goodwills. We got one item at each Goodwill, even the Woodburn Goodwill, which I normally get really good things at. So we're gonna try to switch things up and we're gonna go to a St. Vincent's de Paul in Salem, Oregon. USA. USA. Earth. Earth. Milky Way Galaxy. <laughs> Just kidding, we found a super thrift. I was actually here a couple weeks ago and this one's huge. So we're gonna do super thrift and then St. Vincent's de Paul. I feel like super thrift should have a really cool jingle. Don't you? Come on down to the super thrift and get thrifty with us. <laughs> there we go. And it now has a jingle. Oh, thank you. I've always wanted a jukebox. Look at this. It's $449.99. I feel like that's not a bad price. I have no idea. I've I don't, never Googled I'm not in the jukebox prices. business, but if I were, it's kind of cool. I'd be a happy See, so you guy. type in your little selection. You're like, doo, 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 doo. I like it. That's kind of neat. Isn't Baldwin a good brand? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I've heard Baldwin referenced before. Electric organ. People yeah, are going like, to see a lot more musical content with you in my videos. So <laughs> interesting. We are going to get this. We are? It's, yeah, we are. <laughs> we are? It's brass and silver, mixed metal. Can it's we got, get it cleaned up? Yeah, we're going to polish that up. Yeah. This is only $5, you guys. Gorgeous. Polish it looks very glass. Italian. The glass is a little messed up over here. Where is it messed up? Oh. It is right it though is. in there, so it's kind of hard to see. I still think it's absolutely worth it. And a new piece of glass that's a rectangle isn't terribly expensive. This is cool. I like it. Okay, what are we doing with it? We're selling it, babe. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna clean up beautiful. I think we can get ten bucks for it. I think we can. I think we, we can double. get ten bucks for it. I think we can get ninety-five for it. With a little bit of polish, a little bit of love. I have a really good feeling about this. I actually think this is a good one. I think it might be designer. I've seen a lot of brass coffee tables. There's just something about it. I got a gut feeling. Jesse spotted an end table also over there. That's got stuff on it that matches this one. So I think we're gonna get that one too. I'm so excited. I really like this. I'm excited to see what it looks like cleaned up too. This is kind of pretty. It's like a nice mix of modern and kind of traditional with the flowers. $2.99. I like it.
Voice in a jar. It's a little base. It's $9.99. Don't actually love it on the base, but by itself, I think that'd look really pretty with a stack of books. Yeah, that's worth it. That's a ball space. Yeah. Be cool. We used to refinish and flip furniture for quite a few years when we were in local vintage malls, but we've scaled back that. This is kind of neat, actually. It's not old, but in the right setting with a different chair. It could be kind of cool. But yeah, we're not really in the furniture business anymore. Wanting to get an exercise bike for home? Oh yeah, that one? No, thank you. Uh, it's got an electronic monitor. <laughs> Monitor. I'm good. Oh, this is the dual action monitor? Oh my. Now I'm good. It's electronic monitor. I'm holding out. I'm holding it's out for dual action. <laughs> I think I'll look on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> the Super Thrifts have awesome furniture. Look at this floral couch back here. If you took the skirt off of the bottom and updated it a little bit, that'd be so trendy right now. Big bold patterns with a wallpaper that kind of clashes with it, that's in. This. What? Is this the recliner for this chair here? Oh, the one right behind there. I didn't even see it. This little. Oh, that's cute. Fifty nine ninety nine. Let's go look at it from the other side. Yeah, that's that's all right. Very seventies. It's in really good condition. But we're gonna pass. I'm excited about the coffee table. <laughs> all right, we're just getting these two items and. <laughs> not the rattle <laughs> but we're gonna get the coffee table too i came here and started a band yeah you started a band you got a jingle <laughs> We got the table for only $5. It does have a small flaw in the glass, but you really can't see it from the top down. And it was only $5, so I feel like we had to get it. It looks like it could be kind of in the style of Willie Rizzo. I don't think it's one of his pieces. Those are very high end. I saw some on Cherish for $3,200 for a coffee table. I don't think we're that lucky, but I do think it's in a very similar style. And Hollywood Regency is very classic and timeless. And I'm gonna get that brass clean up and maybe I'll style it for you guys. Maybe I won't. We'll see. All right, we have made it to the St. Vinny's, St. Vincent's de Paul in Salem, Oregon. This is a gorgeous Peruvian vase. It's hand painted. It's got traditional designs and beautiful patterns and it's only $5.99. I think that's a pretty good price for this. And it looks like there is a matching plate here for $3.99. That's pretty with the deer and cactus. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that too. It's a little bookshelf. It's kind of cute. It's got owls on it. It's $5.99. So you put these little sides up and you put books in between and it actually extends too so you can make it longer it might be worth it you want to pull on that side and we can show them how it extends it doesn't extend it should the one i had last time extended it's a little sticky a little sticky might need to loosen it up back okay or maybe it's even glued shut it's well normally that does extend like so old that it's just kind of warped, warped and now it's stuck. What do we think? Should we get it? Ooh, it's kind of coming apart there. Well, this is the track works. that it would extend and run. Oh. 
Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. What is this? Like a little mini butcher block island? <laughs> I don't know why I like that, but that's kind of fun. You could like cut a pickle on it, babe. Do you know how many <laughs> tiny little cutting boards you have? I do have a lot of tiny cutting boards. How do you keep finding me? <laughs> Ooh, I like both of these things. That's a pretty dish. $7.99. Silver plated. Are any colors half off here? White is 50% off. Oh. Green is 25% off. And yellow is regular? Okay. 50th, <laughs> 50th anniversary. anniversary. Yeah, I'll pass, babe. Thought that counts though, I guess. I was just saying we're striking out. And this is it. We're going to find something. We're going to find something amazing here. We've got a nice ironwood bird for, ooh, $19.99. Nope. Okay, what else we got here? Salt lamps. We got fake bananas. <laughs> I think that's telling. You go for the orange, I go for the banana. Are those like ceramic? That's kind of neat. Okay. What are those? Like soap dishes. Those are not attractive. It's Blanco. No, it's not. <laughs> Absolutely not Blanco. A little bird. Two ninety nine is better than the Ironwood one, but it's not worth as much as the Ironwood. Kind of like a mat. It's like a mix of Brutalist. You like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, this will look cool it's with a coffee food. table. Yeah, I like that. That'll look neat with the vase, the white vase, and the coffee table. Push that over, get a hammer out, and straighten it up. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. Cool. Put it in the cart. I just lost a game at our friend's holiday party that was in references to old movies. So. I'm getting this book and I'm gonna start studying for next year. <laughs> I love these big picture books. They're great to have on the bookshelf. You can learn something, cool pictures. I also got one on France. headed to Engelberg Antiques Woo! and I wanted to show you the earrings that I just got. They're gorgeous mixed metal brass and sterling. I think they knew they were sterling because they were $29.99 but for such large and dramatic modernist earrings that's actually a really good price still. I think these are worth around $100. They're gorgeous and I got a couple books that I'm going to use for staging on the coffee table so I'm excited to get everything home but first we're going to do one last stop today at the antique store. Okay, we're here at Engelberg's. It's just across the street behind me. I haven't been here in a couple of years. You've never been here. Never been here. Never been here. First time. First time for everything. I'm excited to <laughs> switch it up and do an antique store because we've been kind of hit and miss with the thrift stores today. So I'm excited to do an antique store. Yeah, it's not been the greatest thrifting day no. ever. It's been good. There's some good stuff. I really like the table. I like these. These are really if I was in a keeping mode, I was telling Jesse that I would keep these for sure. They're something I would wear and love, but I'm in an experiences mode. That's what I'm prioritizing. So I'm selling more things than I typically do. I usually hold on a little tighter to the things that I love. You know what I wanna to find today, actually, Jesse? I wanna find a couple more Christmas gifts. We are a few days away from Christmas and there's still a few more people we need a few more things for. And I love giving thrifted and vintage secondhand gifts. Okay, let's go see what we can find. Antiques and things. I like it. Aren't they interesting? Oh, those are cool. There's a, a large one. It's a set of three lobster pots for $75. And there's two little ones that go with it. I don't really eat lobster. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'd eat is that it. for eating the lobster? Well, why would it have a lobster on it if it's not for eating lobster? What if you open that up and it was like a crab inside? I'd be so confused. <laughs> yeah, that's a crawdad, not a lobster. Oh, that would make more sense because crawdads, they I mean, like in, 
I it still does. don't understand why you. But think about it, like the in Louisiana, I remember the the crawdad. Um, oh, you know what it is? What is it? It's probably for like lobster chowder or something. Oh. Like not like. But remember the crawdad boils in, when we went to New Orleans? Yeah. Maybe it's a crawdad and it's for a crawdad boil. I don't think so. I don't know. It's kind of oh. dusty. It's a tramp art box with a heart. That is so cute. Okay, if it's under $50, I'm getting it. Oh, 64. Can't get it because I said if it was under 50, I'd get it. And now you know, I can't bend the rules. Dang it. How cute is that? Someone come get this. That's at Engelberg Antiques. It's so cute. Like a science room or a doctor's office. Right. That's odd. This would be cool for my uh, bar. No. That I'm planning. Yeah. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> one yeah. oh yeah it's, like it's only 26 Ooh, we're gonna look at all this stuff in here no. definitely getting these they're olive wood salt and pepper shakers for $18 for the pair look at how beautiful that is all hand carved oh those are incredible what is this thing back here Is this like that thing a judge hits on a table? <laughs> I feel like it looks like it should open. I don't think it does. Oh, maybe it does. I have no idea. could sing I would sing the hippopotamus Christmas song. <laughs> Is that Snow White? Yeah. 1920s chalkware. This is ten dollars. Oh don't break her. She's already had her her neck broke. She's had a rough time. Poor Snow White. Look at this. That is so fresh Prince of Bel Air. Isn't it? Barbie couch. It's a Barbie couch? Yeah. Wow. Ken was cool in the 80s. Ken had a sweet bachelor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's be real. It's a piggy bank. You could save your pennies. And a Big Mac. $25. I like it. Not a cool couch. It is. It almost kind of goes with the ones that we have, but also different. I don't think we have another surface for a table lamp. We were, we were fresh out of lamp room. Yes. That's funny though. And there it is. Always, every time. We had this. We called it the Martian, remember? Yeah. Was, ours was in perfect condition. We sold it. Yeah, it had the topper too. I'll insert a picture. We had one of these that we got off of Facebook Marketplace when we got the one that we have in our backyard. But yeah, we flipped it and then that paid for the powder coating for the one we have. Okay, we did not flip it for fifteen hundred. I think we sold ours for seven fifty in perfect condition. Maybe we should have sold it for more. Okay, we're thinking. Well, Jesse's thinking that this is a tie rack yeah. that got turned into a light fixture, and then they glued these together and hung them. 
brilliant. That's a great way to repurpose all of that stuff. I just found a really adorable Christmas gift for my niece. It says my room embroidered needlepoint and it has a little ladybug on it. It's only $12. She's been wanting to decorate her room, so that'll be cute. We want to check out this picture. It's only $14. Ooh, it's got a crack on the top. I think that's probably why. Yeah, pretty big chip. That's too Someone bad. painted that on there. Oh, you think so? Yeah. What's it say on the bottom? Oh, no. I think they made it. Vivian Miller made that. Go Vivian. I like your design. Go Vivian. I'd get it if it wasn't chipped. Who is that? It's Bill Shonley. Bill Shonley. Oh, from yeah. the Blazers. Yeah. Rip City, baby. That's funny. Are you getting it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? It's for my brother for Christmas. Oh, that'll be funny. Yeah. That'll be great. I have his name, so. Okay. I like it. <laughs> Look how cute this is. Oh, it's on the back. Get those critters. Well, that's a flower. Oh, that's a flower? Yeah. <laughs> Get the critter on the back right there. Look how cute it is. Not something I would normally get, but as soon as I pointed it out, Jesse's like, get it. I think it's fun. I've never seen it before, so that's always your clue whether <laughs> you should get something or not. I agree. I have this exact mug for our tiki party, but I've never seen it again. How much is it? Six ninety-five. That's not bad, right? I think I probably paid two ninety nine for the first one. Let's get it. We'll have a matching pair. <laughs> Little veggies. That's cute it too. Oh my gosh. I don't know if she would wear it. If it had salmon on it, she would wear it. She's obsessed with the fish, salmon, not to eat, but to swim upstream. <laughs> <laughs> she did a study at her school and they actually released some salmon, so she's obsessed. So what'd you think? It was great. It was great? Yes. We just um, had so much fun talking to the owners too. Yeah. They're about to own it for two years. Yep. We're going to try to come back um, for their celebration, which is February 1st. That's their two year anniversary of owning the store. Yeah. It's cool. It's busy. Mm -hmm. A lot of young folks. <laughs> A lot of young folks. A lot of young Not whippersnappers. Like us. <laughs> A lot of whippersnappers. But that's always good when you have an antique store and there's a huge variety of items that draws all ages. So there was people there for, you know, the old timey antiques and then there were young, hip, cool spaces that had the t-shirts and the sweatshirts right. and the stuff from the 90s that the young kids like. Right. There's something for everybody. Yeah. And clearly for us, we literally have an entire bag full of stuff. We got Bill Shonley and I got a really cool coat and, or it's a jacket, I guess. Worth the drive. If you live in Portland or somewhere else in the Willamette Valley, it's worth the drive to Salem. Absolutely. It's big and it's all good stuff. Yeah. Like every oh man, space you're like a new good. spokesperson for, for Engelberg Antiques. I know. <laughs> they have 56 vendors and um, they have a wide variety. And I loved what the owner said. He said there's 56 vendors, so that's 56 different opinions on what's cool. And I think that that's what I love about these antique stores that have so many different vendors. You've got such a variety of items um, and everybody has a different take on vintage. I have a different take on vintage. Jesse has a different take on vintage. <laughs> yeah, Bill Shonley, rest in peace. Okay, well, today was awesome. I'm excited to bust out that coffee table tomorrow and get it styled up, cleaned up and styled drink up. drink coffee on it? I am going to drink coffee on it, but only because you just asked me if I was going to. I wasn't going to. Okay. But now I'm going to have my morning coffee tomorrow morning. Does that mean I have to like, bring it in the house? It does. Everything? It absolutely does. I'm to It means you have to vacuum the rug. No, I'm just kidding. I'll <laughs> vacuum the rug. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have coffee on that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning with coffee on the coffee table. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. And look I at Jesse. I rocked it. <laughs> hey, let's recap the day. Okay. Um, I just sold everyone Engelberg Antiques. You did. Pitchman. Pitchman. Hype man. Check. Um, you encouraged me to get this jacket. Also, man. a jingle for Super Thrift. Yes, you did nail. You did I wrote crush a jingle. it today. You I wrote mean, a jingle. I think I deserve a good dinner. Can today. I play that jingle every time I ever go into Super Thrift from now on till the end of my days? If I get the royalties for it, <laughs> I mean, the publishing rights are mine. I think I own that. Uh, I hope you guys had fun. This has been a really good day. We're going to head home. We're going to go have some dinner. Yes. I'll see you at coffee in the morning.
Turns out yesterday was a good thrift day. I'm loving how this setup turned out. Whenever I'm doing a coffee table or bookshelves, I always try to make sure that I have a balanced mix of metals, pottery, books, of course, <laughs> candles, and always something warm like wood to warm up the space. I got these amazing coasters in Germany and if you have not seen my Christmas markets video, you need to go watch it. It is probably one of the videos I am the most proud of my filming and editing. You're gonna love the video, especially if you are in a Christmas mood and you want something festive, go watch that video. And if you're not in a Christmas mood and you're a Grinch, you definitely need to watch the video because it'll get you in a Christmas mood. absolutely adore both of these pieces of pottery. I still have not found out who Victoria is. I did find an artist online that had similar pottery, very similar style. It was definitely a higher crafted art because the pottery was so thin. You could just see how fragile and difficult it would be to make. But I'm wondering if Victoria was maybe inspired by that artist. So I'll pop in a few pictures of the other artists just so you can see how amazing it is. Here is the Victoria signature. She's got a little heart for the V. I couldn't find it online anywhere. So if you happen to know who Victoria is, please let me know. I will probably post it in a Facebook group to see if I can get some help with that identification. And then this, I have a really good feeling that this is a good one. I can't quite read it. Looks like it might end in a YA. Maybe start with an M or B. Beautiful piece of pottery. I love them both. I'm so happy I found them. Okay, I wanna take a second to show you the jewelry that I got today. These are probably my favorite item that I got. They're very modernist. They're mixed metal with the brass and the sterling. I ended up paying $29.99 for them, which for a thrift store is pretty steep, but they knew what they had, and I think it was a very reasonable price. These are worth at least $80 to $90. I got some amazing rings. I got two of the Zuni Owl rings. I love these because they're always a little bit different. You can see that this one has coral here under its head. This one's got some turquoise down there. Every time you see one of these rings, they're handmade and they're a little bit different. I paid $42 each for the rings and these are worth at least $75 to $100. Typically when I'm buying jewelry, I make sure that I am having around 50% margins because it takes a lot of time and effort to photograph, style, clean, ship the items. So you've got to make sure that you've got enough margins to make money on them. I got this Brutalist ring for only $26 love that one. And then this double turquoise ring was 65. It has the nice oxidized look to it and this type of turquoise is a little bit more rare. You can see it has that beautiful gold veining in there. So I felt that was worth it. I did end up paying 65 for this one and it's probably not worth double that but pretty close. But it has just such a beautiful giant turquoise stone in it. And again you can see the flecks of the gold and the black. It's just beautiful. This however I'm going to be keeping for myself. I have not seen a sandcastle ring by this artist before. It's by the artist Ben Nighthorse and it's an incredible piece. I paid $85 for it. These do sell online for quite a bit more than that so it felt like a good investment but mostly I bought it because sandcast rings are so comfortable to wear and I like the unique shape on it. Really beautiful designer piece and I'm excited to add that one to my personal collection. I also picked up this brass necklace for only $5 because I'd been looking for a nice thick collar necklace that I could add this giant nail art pendant to. I got this in Norway, I believe for only $15 and I just think it will look really dramatic and cool hanging from that collar necklace. I just think that's gonna really make the brass pop in this necklace with the shiny brass collar. I'm gonna put that one together and have that in my next first Friday sale. And then here are a few other items that I picked up recently at a vintage store that I didn't show you because I wasn't filming that day. I got this really unique necklace. These are sterling. They're all stamped sterling on the back and it's got these beautiful white shells and silver plated beads. Thought that was really pretty. I love these big medallion copper necklaces with the roadrunner and the cactus. Very southwestern and 
I love this. This is from Finland and it's got little wooden beads. Huge fan of modernist jewelry out of Finland. Chinese cloisonne pendant with some birds and flowers and a really pretty little delicate brass chain. Oh, and then this guy, he's so neat. This is Tasco. So it's a bull money clip it's signed on the back. Uh, he was awesome. And then a beautiful Chinese cloisonne bangle. Yeah, so here's just a little peek at a few more jewelry items that are gonna be coming to my next first Friday sale. I launch all of my vintage items once a month on my website, leftcoastrevivals.com, the first Friday of every single month. So you can find all of these items there, except for that beauty. Engelberg. Engelberg Antiques. Antiques. Mm -hmm. Spelled with a K. The cool way, the German way. I don't think that's actually German. It's not spelled antiques. Oh, really? I thought it had a K. No. Nope. I think it's like. Don't worry, YouTube will correct us. Americanized <laughs> German spelling. Oh, really? Like we just think it sounds cool or looks cool. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't. I don't really know anything. So. Yeah, you sound like me. That's what I always say. I'm like, I don't really know anything. Don't <laughs> listen just, to me. I'm just this up. Uh, we make it up as we go. But please let us know in the comments below. I know you will. <laughs>